I'm going to see Vajrayogini temple on the other side of the river. It's amazing that Buddhists and Hindus can live in such a harmony. Sometimes you cannot even say what is Buddhist temple, what is Hindu temple. So I'm taking a taxi to Bijishwari temple. It, it's anyway quite far to walk. No, well, Europe is a little uh, no dust. Yeah, no dust. It, yes. It, yeah, that's true. It's better. That's better. better. But here, too much dust. That's like, uh, in time is happy. Happening. Uh, I will be happy here. Uh -huh. Happiness. Anytime happiness. Yes. Yeah. The thing is, this little small road. Yes, I'm right. Great. Actually, in this place, the place of Vajramagini, I heard there was some. Mahasiddha, a great enlightened being, uh, was meditating there. So it should be quite a strong place. This should be it. Uh, it's sometimes very hard to find out if it is Hindu or Buddhist temple. You can see here is Buddha. You can find Buddhas here, but you can also find Hindu goddess are in God here. Good. Shrine for Hindu goddesses. Hello, Hello. Namaste. Bijishwari Temple. Yeah. Vajraki. I'm here. I really like these small temples, they're amazing, like, here you can really meditate and it's very calm and in those big places sometimes too crowded. Wow, and it's very nice that they let me meditate alone inside the temple. You cannot take pictures from inside, but that's good. Like this, the strong energy is preserved. It seems like it's also possible to go up. Uh, maybe not. Wow, very nice place. I feel very good here. Good bar. Every Vajra Yogini. Also destroyed by earthquake. Let's look here. Oh. oh, destroyed by earthquake.